This is question 9. We're told a curve has equation y equals f of x. The point P with coordinates 9, 0 lies on the curve. Given that f dashed of x is equal to x plus 9 over root x, where x is greater than 0, in part A for 6 marks find f of x, and in part B for 4 marks find the x coordinate of the two points on y equals f of x, where the gradient of the curve is equal to 10. So what we need to do in the first part is integrate. So I can say now that f of x or y is going to be equal to the integral now of f dashed of x. I'm just going to rewrite this and I'm going to write this as x plus 9 over x to the 1 half power and we're integrating with respect to x. So we can go ahead and split this fraction up. So y is going to be equal to the integral now of x over x to the 1 half plus 9 over x to the 1 half and we're integrating with respect to x. So y is going to be equal to the integral now of x to the 1 half plus 9x to the power of negative 1 half. So let's go ahead and integrate this. We can say now that y is going to be equal to. We raise by a power, x to the 3 over 2, and divide by the new power. We're going to have now 9x. Raising by a power will give us a positive 1 half, and then we divide by the new power and add our constant of integration. So y is going to be equal to 2 thirds of x to the power of 3 over 2 plus 18x to the power of 1 half plus the constant of integration. We have this point. This point is going to be p, and that has the coordinates 9, 0. So we can sub this in to solve for c. So we have 0 is going to be equal to 2 thirds of 9 to the power of 3 over 2. So taking the square root gives us 3. Cubing it will give us 27 plus 18 lots of 9 to the power of 1 half. Well, that's the square root, and that will give us uh, 3. So what does this give us? That's going to give us now 18. 2 thirds of 27 is 18. Plus 54 plus C will be equal to 0. So we've got negative 72 is equal to C. All I'm going to do is just rewrite this, and we can say now that Y is equal to 2 over 3, X to the 3 over 2 plus 18x to the 1 half, or root x, and then we're going to have now minus 72. So that's our 6 marks. In part b, we need to find the x-coordinates of the two points on y equals f of x, where the gradient of the curve is equal to 10. This, remember, f dashed of x is the gradient function. So we can say 10 is equal to x plus 9 over root x. We need to solve this equation. Quite a few different approaches that you can take. I'll do a couple of different ways and you can decide what you like. I'm going to multiply both sides by root x and I'm going to write it as 10x to the 1 half and that's going to be equal to x to the power of 1 plus 9. If I rearrange this setting the left hand side to 0 we've got x to the power of 1 minus 10x to the power of 1 half plus 9 is equal to 0. You can factor this. Alternatively, you could let now some variable, let's say let p, lowercase p, be equal to x to the power of 1 half. This would give us 0 is equal to p squared minus 10p plus 9. We can see from this that this will factor. So we can see now we're going to have p minus 1 multiplied by p minus 9. So that's going to give us from here that p is equal to 1, or we've got p is equal to 9. So at this stage, we can say now that x to the half is equal to 1. Square in both sides, x will be equal to 1. And then x to the 1 half is going to be equal to 9. So square in both sides, we have x is equal to 81. So that's one approach. An alternative approach would be to write that 10 is equal to x plus 9 over root x. If we square both sides of this equation, what we would end up with is the following. We would have 100 is equal to, and I'll just expand uh, the, the numerator here, we'd have x squared plus 18x plus the 81 and that now would be over root x squared, which is just x. 
So from this, what we could do is just go ahead now and multiply both sides by x. So we'd have 100x is equal to x squared. Then we've got now plus the 18x plus 81. So plus the 81. And from this now, we can simply go ahead and subtract the 100x from both sides. If we do that, we're going to have now on the left hand side, we'll have zero. So we'll have zero is equal to x squared. Then we'll have minus 82. So we need to subtract that. So minus 82 lots of x plus 81. This is going to factor and we're going to have x minus on here 81. And then we're going to have on the next one, we're going to have x minus 1. So x minus 1 and that now will give us the roots. So from here we can see on it now that we're going to have 1. So x is equal to 1 or we've got x is equal to 81 as we did before. So a couple of different approaches. Um, either way around we should get x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 81.